Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 6 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone! This is Miss Toe. Let's finish reading The Stolen Crown, Part 2. Previously, Chip thought the crown slid down the string. Then the person in the room untied the string and laughed. Henry knew at once it was Lord Kent. He wanted to stop Henry being the king. Lord Kent shouted that he would be king and ran off. <coughs> Biff and Chip grabbed Lord Kent's cloak and pulled him over. <coughs> With Lord Kent in prison, Henry needed to get his crown back. Outside the castle, they saw two men searching for something in the grass. One man had the crown. They were searching for the biggest jewel in the crown. We must find it, said the other man. Lord Kent will think we have stolen it. It must be here, said the first man. I hope he didn't fall in the moat. A moat is a man-made river surrounding a castle. A moat 就是护城河 These two men did work for Lord Kent. If they knew where Lord Kent was now. They would not worry about the missing jewel. They should worry about what to do in prison for the rest of their lives. <coughs> Henry didn't worry about the jewel either. He needed to get his crown back first. Chip had an idea. In his pocket, was a glass bead. Is this the jewel? He asked. No, said Henry. The jewel is much bigger. Where did Chip find the glass bead? Yes, outside the castle by the moat. Perhaps the glass bead was the missing jewel. Everything in the magic world became smaller in the real world. But what could Chip do with his tiny glass bead? Give Biff the magnifying glass, Henry, said Chip, and stay where you are. Biff and Chip went up to the man. Biff held the magnifying glass over the bead. Are you looking for this big jewel? She said. We have just found it. How did the bead look through the magnifying glass? Yes, it looked much bigger. What did the man do? He looked at the bead. If the man Grab the bead from Biff's hand. He would find out it was much smaller. <coughs> what would Biff do next? <coughs> Suddenly, Biff dropped the bead. The man bent down to get it. She grabbed the crown and Chip pushed the man into the moat. Splash! That's quick thinking, Biff," 
Great teamwork, Chip. Two smart children beat two big men. Hooray! Biff threw the crown to Henry. Don't drop it! Yelled Chip. Now run! You can be king after all. After all means after all the troubles. Henry will be king after all the troubles. <laughs> Do you want to see how King Henry looked like? All right, let's turn to the next page. Wow! Look at Henry. Oh, I mean, King Henry. He rode on his favorite horse. He carried the magnifying glass on his belt. He held his head up, and he was wearing the crown. He was king, after all. Everyone was cheering. Everyone, but Biff and Chip. Whew, I'm glad I'm not a king," said Chip. "You just can't trust anyone, but you can trust the magic key," said Biff. "It's glowing. Trust 就是信任。Do you think Chip was right? I think he got a point. Henry couldn't trust Lord Kent. He couldn't trust the guards. But Henry trusted Biff and Chip. I think the important thing for a king is to know whom to trust. Do you want to be a king? Was just a boy," said Chip. "I wonder if he was king for a long time. <coughs> Who knows?" said Biff. "I wonder if he found that missing jewel." <coughs> What do you think? Do you think Henry could be a king for a long time? <coughs> In earlier episodes. I did think that Henry was too young to be a king, but when I saw how he found out a thief, and how he got his crown back, I changed my mind. I think he would be a good and wise king, and I hope he was king for a long time. All right. That's the whole story. Hope you like it. Goodbye. This program is a p r o d u c t of Himalaya.